This tutorial is uh, about comparing clouds. You will learn how to compute cloud to cloud distances, how to apply a transformation to a cloud. Transformation is composed of a rotation and a translation. And after having applied the transformation, you will see how to align clouds using two algorithms um, available in Cloud Compare the ICP, iterative closest point, and also the picking pair points algorithm. Before computing cloud to cloud distances, I'll be, I will do a little bit of processing on my sample dataset. I select here the classification color field and I will isolate ground points. Remember that class 2 is for ground points here. And after having doing that, I will click here on the tool filter points by value and I will split my cloud into two clouds, one cloud with the ground points and the other cloud is the remaining points. Now I can compute the cloud to cloud distances by selecting the two clouds here and clicking on the tool compute cloud to cloud distance. Okay. You have to check the role here, and if they are not in the right place, you can swap the cloud. The reference is the ground, and the compared cloud is the. So here we have the distance computation dialog. You can choose to split the distances along x, y, and z components. You will see that it will be quite useful in our case. You can also specify a max distance. This is really important in the cases where the two clouds are not overlapping very well. It will prevent Cloud Compare to try to compute really large distances. The next parameter you will have to configure in the distance computation dialog is the local modeling. You select known as a local model, Cloud Compare will use a naive approach to compute the cloud to cloud distance. It will take one point in the compared cloud, and for each point in the compared cloud, he will look for the nearest neighbor in the reference cloud. With these two points, he will compute a vector, and the length of this vector will be taken as the cloud to cloud distance. He will also make the projection of this vector on the x, y, and z axis to get the split components. If you take other options for the local modeling, you have three choices, least square plane, d and a half triangulation, and quadric surface. To select one of these three options, you will have the choice between points and radius. What does it mean? For each point in the compared cloud, the compare will still look for the nearest neighbor in the reference cloud. But this time, around this point, it will look for other points to build a local model. There are two ways to look for these other points. In the first case, you can set a number of points to look for in the neighborhood of the, the point of the reference cloud. And the other option consists in specifying a radius to build a spherical neighborhood around the original point in the reference cloud and to get all the points which fall within this spherical neighborhood. Once you have these points, you can compute a model, which depends on the option you choose. And the cloud to cloud distance will be the distance between the point P compared cloud and the local model which has been built using the, the points of the reference cloud. All the details about this method can be found on the Cloud Compare Wiki. During the summer school in June, we will learn to use an advanced instance computations algorithms, which is called M3C2 and is available as a plugin in Cloud Compare. M3C2 stands for multi-scale model-to-model cloud comparison. It's 
is able to compute signed distances. And there is also a specific se section on it on the Cloud Compare Wiki. So let's continue with the cloud to cloud computation with the known as a local model. Approximate distances are um, an estimation by Cloud Compare of the distances that will be computed between these two clouds. Okay, I click now on compute. And the results will appear on the compared cloud. The compared cloud is the other. I click on it. And what you can see here is that we have four new scalar fields on the other cloud. And um, if I have a look at the absolute distances, you can see that I have regions in my in my compared cloud, cloud who are quite uh, from the ground and it corresponds to regions where I have vegetations and especially high vegetations. If on if I select here the distances along the z-axis, what is very relevant to have a look at the height of the vegetation. Again I can adapt the column map. Here and again, I can see that I have almost isolated, isolated, or at least located areas where we have quite high vegetation here. To show you how to apply a transformation to a point cloud and how to register point clouds, I have worked a little bit on my sample data set here and I have extracted two clouds from it using the, um, the dedicated tool here in the cloud compare interface, the subsample point cloud. I have used two techniques to subsample the cloud, the roundup subsampling, and this gave me a cloud of two millions of points. And I also have used the spatial resampling techniques at one meter, and this gave me a cloud of about 3 million points. Before uh, applying a transformation, I will clone my, my cloud here. And after that, I can click on it, click on Edit, Apply Transformation. And here you have several ways to, to specify the transformation, a matrix 4x4. You can specify a rotation axis, an angle, and uh, translation values, and you can also specify other angles. My transformation is composed of a rotation and a translation. I have set a rotation of one degree around the first axis of the earlier angles, zero degree around the second axis, and zero degree around the third axis. And for the translation, I have set zero along the x axis, 0 along the y axis and 0 0.5 along z. Okay, I apply the transformation and what you can see now is that my second cloud has been moved with respect to the first one and the points are not mixed anymore. This is what we expected. No, we, we will try to register the, the clouds and the, the result of this registration will be a better alignment of these two clouds. To do that, we can select both clouds here, the reference one and the, the cloud to align. We go here in tools, registration, find registration with ICP. ICP stands, stands for Iterative closest point. It is a, a really uh, well-known algorithm to register clouds. Click on it. You have to check here that the reference cloud is a good one. So this is a random subsampling two millions. It's okay. And to to set to configure the end of the of the algorithm, we you have two possibilities, two criterion, two criteria. 
The first one is the number of iterations. You can control the computation time with it. And the second one is the RMS def difference. And you can control the quality of the result with it. So I will use the RMS difference and I click on OK. And you see that the algorithm has been very fast. And what you can see now is that the points are mixed together again. And what is interesting is that in the console here, you can find the rotation that has been computed by the algorithm to make the clouds fit together again. And you can copy it using Control C. And if you go again in Edit, Apply Transformation, and if you paste the values here, Cloud Compare will compute for you the, other, the corresponding other angles. And so the transformation, transformation which has been um, computed is a rotation around the first axis of one degree, almost zero and almost zero around the other axis. And as a translation, you can see that the results are not so good because the algorithm has found a translation of about minus 0 0.5 meters around X for four centimeters around Y and 0 0.4 meters around Z. It's not really the same as uh, the transformation we have used to, to modify the initial cloud, but in terms of registration, The result is not so bad. I change the color here. You can see that both clouds are mixed together despite the discrepancies on the transformation uh, computation. Okay, there is another technique in Cloud Compare to align clouds, and I will show it to you now. I select two cl clouds I want to register. Click on Tools, Registration, and uh, you have here the tool Align Point Pair Speaking. Click on it. The aligned entity, in our case, is a special resampling one meter. Okay. And now you will have to, to point pair, to pick point pairs in the, in the data clouds here, in the clouds here. You have to click on corresponding points here. And I, I cheat a little bit because I, I know that there are corresponding points, but the optimized, optimized situation would be to have clouds with um, bridges or buildings easy to locate, be able to have really interesting um, corresponding points. You need at least three points to be able to run the algorithm here. OK. Let's try. OK. Again, I can go here and click on the transformation, which has been applied. And here in the edit I will just copy and paste values and see what has been computed by the algorithm. For the rotation, we are we are not so bad, almost one minus one degree to have the cloud back onto the reference cloud. But in terms of translation, we are quite far from the the translation we we had configured at the beginning for the transformation. And it's because um, this is not an optimum case for, the, for this method, but you, you have to remember that it can be a, really an option to, to register clouds. And you can also see that even if the values of the transformation are not really close to the, the initial transformation, the, the two clouds 
the original one, the, the reference one here, which has not been transformed, and the registered one here, who has been transformed and after that registered, they are quite close together because the points seem to be mixed. If you want to, to investigate further these results, you, you can again compute the cloud to cloud distances, for instance, here, with a reference being the spatial resampling. OK. And you can, OK, I will let all the options uh, by default compute. And here you have you have an overview on the register cloud of the cloud to cloud absolute distances between the register cloud and the original cloud. And what you can see is that you have a region with quite high values here, which has not been rightly taken into account by the algorithm. For the registration. And this is the end of this uh, tutorial about comparing clouds.